Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more popper slivers. We won the die roll. Let's see what Philip up here is on about while we take a look at our hand, which is keepable. I will accept this, but we're going to have to call white with the Thriving Grove. Never ideal, but we do have a backup gem hide to get our mana correct if we need to. So this looks absolutely wonderful to me. Let's go ahead and call white and pass. Let's see what we can get going. How big should I make this? I just make it the entire screen? Wow, oh, come on, man. We didn't even have to play a sliver that time. We didn't even have to. It's just that simple when you play slivers. You, you don't even have to play out a creature. And they already know. Oh, this must be slivers. I'm going to leave. Let's see if we can get a game really quick. If not. Oh, we did. Okay. Hobosock. Let's go, Hobosock. Do not leave on me here. That's an unkeepable hand. Mulligan. That is much better. Thank you very much. We'll drop a gem hide here. I do wish there was a way to like resize these like way easier, but all right, we're gonna keep. Drop a jemmy. So you done. And we're gonna play Forest. Go. See what Hobo Sock is doing. I think uh recognize the name. I feel like I've played this uh person before. Possibly. What do you got for me? Island. I don't like the island. Under. Okay. We're in for a battle. You gonna be mono blue or are you gonna be some kind of is it build? Playing with the classic lands. Okay, lead the stampede. Let's go ahead and just put down Sentinel because he's a big boy. We want to start attacking in, we can, but I think we're probably just going to do the gem hide. Or, well, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, double lands are up. We'll see if they hold it. So now we got to start playing around some counter spells. We're going to go Augur. Okay, I want to see a one drop here. One drop or a land, an untapped land. I want to be able to get a Lord down if I can this turn, or at least an extra creature. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's fine. Let's just get him down while we can. Gem Hide is going to be key for letting us play multiple spells a turn. What did they reveal? They revealed Brainstorm. Okay. Let's go a little smaller on the hand. Let's get you guys a nice, nice big view of what's happening on the board. Can I increase it at all? No. Preordain. Sure thing. it this way a little bit too, right? Oh. Shouldn't be messing with it too much while I'm recording, but I'm noticing that some things are off with my OBS, so. All right, they played in Ashburns just as is. Are we gonna see some kind of snap? Ah, uh, ninja. Ninjutsu, okay. 
Fair enough, but you know what? I will take a ninjutsu right now because them tapping out this turn with all this mana is pretty darn good for us. I don't think I'm going to play winged. I am just going to lead the stampede go lord. Or go like double lord if we find another lord here. Let's see what we draw. And they have to discard. Okay, we get a land. All right. Yeah, let's uh let's lead. Let's refill. Beautiful lead. That's what you like to see right there. All right, so we got uh double lords, two winged. We're in really good shape right now. Awesome. Um hold up. Cancel. Let's go attacking first, shall we? Let's get some damage in there. Haven't played with the Sentinel Gem Hide combo in a minute. It's been a minute since we've gotten that. And go. Beautiful. We are set right now. Now, how do you want to play this? They know about... Uh, they don't know about our other predatory. And they don't know about our other winged. But the winged surprise is... A reveal. Now. Wow, I keep bumping the mic. Evolving Wilds. They can sack. Which means... Yeah, why are they playing this? Are they playing with red? They must be. That's why I didn't even like think about it, but like, why do you need Ash Barons if you're mono blue? So we are seeing a splash or something. And these are snow, so it could be scred. Scred. This will be tapped. Okay. I will definitely go ahead and play that. We'll call blue for that. All right, who wants to start a counter war? <laughs> We're going to be playing them. Play the one that they know about first. See if we can entice something gnarly here. Okay. Um, yeah, we just go attacking right now, honestly. There's no reason not to feel pretty dang safe and they're just gonna concede beautiful great start great pyroblast come on in um hmm 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 enchantment or artifact i think they could be playing with bonders but i don't think it's worth bringing in uh we can get rid of striking i'm on hearts sentinel is pretty dope but it's not necessary as good as it is when it's paired with gem hide, we've only got a one of, so I think it's a perfectly fine cut a lot of the time. Hmm, do I want to worry about snaps? Or do I just want to bring in Pyroblast? Lay back. I'm trying to think what else we could. They didn't show us the other color, so it's just like a guesstimate. On if they actually are playing with red or not. They'd be playing with black. It'd be some kind of uh, Delver. But they didn't show us. They didn't show us anything but blue. So I'm going to play based off of just the information they showed. I'm just going to bring in Pyroblast and let's see how it goes in game two. Keep our count high for creatures. Well, we cut again, we cut striking a sentinel. Yeah, that's fine. They get to go first, so. Again, we gotta watch out for the counter spells. I'm like, the counter spells are more predictable. The snaps are like what always hangs me up if they are playing with snaps. Whenever they bring in snaps, I'm like, mm. you can't, you can't really know if they're gonna do it or not even if they're holding up mana 
Um, <laughs> well, it's not a bad hand. We will keep. Got survivors in case our mana does get a little wonky, but looks pretty good. Um, yep, start with the sidewinder here. Go, we got a refill. Beautiful. Let's see what they crack and get here. They are playing red. And they're just going to pass. What are you going to do? Okay. Getting lots of lords. I do like that. If I had another one drop, I would just go gem hide into the one drop. But I think just being mana efficient here, while they don't have double blue up, it's perfectly reasonable to play a lord. It might still get killed. If so, so be it. They are going to kill it. That's fine. We've got a couple extra backup. Still going to get in there for one. And... We gotta watch out for um sprite whatever it's called the counter sprite counter fairy we're getting ponder get them set up tapping them out of the double blue though still good to see so now next turn we can go gem hide into one of our lords Delver. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Winged. You're gonna be able to deal with your Delver if you flip it. Sorry to say. Um yes, we will just tap like so. Put out our other lord. Lightning bolt my gem. It's a little late now. That kind of tells me they got more removal for my lord. But we're set up with the survivor's encampment. We can still play our winged. Do we flip? I think we will on that ponder, yeah. Curfew. I walked. I didn't see this reveal, but no. Okay, each player returns a creature that controlled to its owner's hand. And it's an instant. It's each player, though. So, they're going to get in for some damage and probably make us do that at some point. Now they're holding up everything. Try to put down a lord. It's fine. We're still racing. Unless they want to kill my other lord here, but it looks like they're just going to be starting to hold up counter magic. They're probably going to curfew end of turn, maybe? They may not want to do it because of the race with uh, Aberration. When they get desperate, they're going to pop it off. I need a fourth land so I can play two things. Beautiful. Okay. Kind of want them to counter this so we can be open to play Winding Way. It's fine. Refill time.
Creature, give me a good hit. Okay. Not the best, but not the worst. Ah, there's the lightning bolts. They did have one more. So they have one unknown card. They just have a curfew and one unknown. Fair enough. Our double flanking is going to be beautiful against their aberration, though. I'm just hoping they're out of counterspell magic so we can just play out everything we need to. Another Delver is going to be an issue, though. Driving Grove. Okay. We will call... Ooh. We want to call Red or Pyroblast if we find it. No, I guess we can call Blue. I'd rather call Blue. We still got survivors to do what we need to do. All right. Start putting some stuff down. Time to go to the skies. We're going to spell Stutter Sprite. That's actually... Pretty sucky. Because I wanted to tap him with survivors. I can still get this down, but uh, pretty annoying. But did I not? Oh, there we go. Okay. If they flip Delver, it's, uh, it's GG's, I think. Brainstorm. That sucks. They can set up their starts here, and they flip the insect, so... Not great. Not great. We're getting hit for seven if we want. If they want. And they can... Okay, they can get the spell stutter now. I think that's a wrap. We'll do Sidewinder. Actually, that was a mistake a little bit. Winding Way is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and do it. See if we can get back in this. We can at least block the aberrations if we need to now. They are going to counter this, but uh, rather have them just counter it and be done with it. And we're just going to pass and see what happens. We got a brainstorm though, so uh, they just got to hit that and try to set up. Augur. See what they find. They bust. I think they busted with the auger. Oops, that's not game log. Yeah, they busted with auger. Good. Zero cards in hand. I will snap block these two. 
they're not going to do it. All right, good. That's... Should have sided you out, honestly. <laughs> Should have sided you out. But it's a creature. Nothing I can hit with it yet, but I will play it. Let's see. Do I want to attack? They probably will take the opportunity to just block my lord. They become two ones. Hmm. Frustrating situation. We're gonna pass for now and then start swinging in with Vandal next turn and stuff. Uh, we're both uh, hellbent. This is where the game gets interesting. I want to see him play something every turn. That way I can be clear to just play whatever I want. Like a land. <laughs> All right. Two, four, six, eight. All right. So we are going to start swinging a little bit. They get any type of removal, they can trap us. Um, but they are going to take it. I'm going to leave this in my hand just to confuse them. He's got a little loud. Cycle the land. Get themselves another red source if they want. Still have the same card in hand, so I'm guessing they just found a counter. Otherwise, I feel like they would have been setting up the traps for us. Let's go like this. Pressure him for six. seems reasonable. I'm just being a little cautious. We are at five life. We're taking it. Interesting. Do they have a ninja? They can't kill us with the ninja. But maybe they're banking on like drawing into a lightning bolt. Okay, doing something end of turn. Spell stutter. Oh, we block block. I guess removal wins. No attack. Good. That is good news for us. Heart sliver. All right. Let's see if you have. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to play you. I'm tapping out. Tapping out of a creature. At this point, we do just need a pressure. Two, two, two. Is there any way we lose here? They can't block with the auger. So they are going to be taking two. They need to block everything else. So they'll just have an auger left. Yeah, okay. I'm good with that. They showed no signs of having removal, but maybe what they were holding on to was the spell stutter sprite, and they did draw into removal, so could possibly go bad for us. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. No matter what, we're taking out these aberrations because of flanking. So I guess we're okay. We're in a we're in an okay spot. And they're gonna block like this. Yes, flanking goes into effect here. Take two. We can unfortunately not play our heart sliver, but that's okay. 
preordained, looking to try to survive. Land is good. Cycling is good. Cool. Awesome. GG's. GG's to them. They left. Hopefully they saw it. GG's. That was a great game. That was good. Well played to them. Uh, and I think we handled what we need to handle appropriately with the state that we were in. Cool. Leave a like if you enjoyed. That was a good matchup. And make sure to subscribe for more popper slivers. Check out the weekend's videos and Sunday booster crackings if you're interested. I appreciate the support. And we will see you guys in the next video.